Hi everybody, welcome to the next video snippet entitled A Prayer Before Union and this recording is being made in the sacred tattoo temple in Eindhoven in Holland. It's New Year's Eve 2014 and I'm very aware of these waves of letting go lap against my own shore of being. And for me, what I'm letting go of is my own participation with the old paradigm way of relating as an intimate partner and also as with my friends and my family and all other beings that I'm relating with. The old paradigm for me is one of conditioned response and behavior, minimal participation. And even if it seems maximum particip participation, that participation is false, unreal, untrue, something that's been learned, and so, as these waves of year-end come to me, I breathe out that, settling for that. And I breathe in the energy of this new prayer. And what this new prayer could lead to, what it could birth, what it could install within myself, within my union with another, within my union with the whole created and uncreated world. And so this prayer before union is an awareness that you and the other would give time to as you enter the bridal chamber, the bridal chamber being in this moment the bedroom, the bed, the, the place where this sacred sexual union is going to be unfolding. So I imagine that you would sit together with your partner, breathing, gazing into each other's eyes. Praying for the heart within you both to open. Praying for a deeper love to be felt, received and exchanged. And you would pray together, speak together, asking for the Divine's holy, protective rings divine fire to encircle the bed so that none but thine may enter and all forms of bodily hatred, sex hatred, shadow, sexual manipulation, fear, unworthiness, deadness, numbness, anything from the old paradigm that has been manufactured, manufactured in the mind as some form of prison. All of that cannot come in, cannot come into the bridal chamber. That there's these rotating rings of divine fire encircling the bed or wherever it is you're, you're, you physically are. And then you would call in the six directions, placing an archangel in each of those directions, north, south, east and west, above and below, directions guarded by great, great celestial beings holding the prayer of your union 
keeping it safe, keeping it clean, keeping it amplified, keeping it passionate, keeping it real. And then you would call forth the chosen energies of the divine, whether it would be the divine mother, the divine father, or Mary Magdalene, Yeshua, Isis, Osiris, Sheba, Solomon, you would call forth these energies to come into your being so you may be guided and inspired and impassioned by these energies so that nothing but the highest love can be made, can be received, can be shared and that all of this love that's happening in the sacred heart. So the sexual genitals and organs are more of a machine, a furnace. A furnace that creates the energies that can swell up into the heart. So as this heart, this love energy is felt between the two of you, it overflows like some benevolent fountain overflowing, overflowing and overflowing beyond the bed, beyond the room, beyond the house, overflowing into the realm, the realm which is earth, the material world, and all other brothers and sisters still caught up in the old paradigm. The other world is nature, the natural world, the animals, their rightful place in this, the trees, the flowers, forests, the oceans, all life, all life being caressed and anointed by the effervescent love in your heart. That is what I mean by a prayer before union. Because sometimes, dearest friends, myself included, you can get a little bit caught up in the sexual energy you know, a certain mm, with a kiss leads to a certain response with the hands, which leads to another awakening within. And suddenly you're involved, the passion is rising, and you just mindlessly go in to the act. What I'm suggesting in this new paradigm in 2015 is to always be mindful of the act. And the greatest passion for union does not get subsided because you take a breath and pause and speak out that prayer. Oh no, nothing gets subsided, nothing gets sidetracked or waylaid. Little pause, hang on a moment. Let's bring our friends in. Let's share this with the whole of life. And so that's my message. As the tides turn from one year to another, mindful of your sexual, sacred, sexual union. Connecting first offering, extending, benevolent kindness in every direction, known and unknown. And as you call in the divine, so the divine inspires you, shapes and crafts this expression of your being. And then experiences are received that are beyond, beyond emotion, beyond words, beyond comprehension. That's really all I have to say. So dearest beings, I'm gonna post the words of this prayer it's only elementary at this stage, but it's enough for a nice, clear and sound guideline for you to embellish and make your own. 
So I wish you, send you, pray for so much love in this new year that we enter together where, uh, where that new paradigm really gets grounded and anchored into our bodies. Amen. Oh,